I must plan my day well. Things are going to happen. People are going to appear, and you are going to have to deal with things, therefore, you must plan your day well. You must plan your day accordingly. The knowledge of time is that things are going to happen, and this is a basic knowledge. Knowing that things are going to happen, it is therefore required for people to plan their days accordingly. For as things are happening, those well prepared are able to juggle the many waves of things. Knowledge is the key that enables people to plan properly. When Jesus was teaching, he made a reference about two people who built their houses, one built on the sand, and the other built on the rock, and he said about the one who built the house on the rock, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock, Mount 724. This man is recorded as being the wise man, for he built his house carefully by anticipating things that were eventually going to attack his house. The other man who built on the sand is recorded as being foolish, for he didn't think while he was building. This is the important part of understanding the importance of knowledge, it enables us to plan and calculate accordingly. For things of all sorts are going to come our way, and it will be sad to pray that it doesn't rain, for rain is coming, and even heavy rain with thunders and hurricanes is going to come, but wisdom and knowledge permit us to have a look in the movement of things and calculate our responses. And the best way to engage with this calling of life is to respond by making daily decisions. The choice of life happens daily, it is not something that can be relegated to some year in the future. It is hard to build a better house and a house on a rock during the storm and hurricanes. The wisdom in this thing is that somehow God has already enabled us to look into the future. Somehow people already have this ability to see, to predict and calculate life by using what has happened already. This model of thinking is referred to as the use of wisdom and knowledge in a very profitable manner. People need to be able to combine and use their knowledge and understanding of things and the movement of time to be able to be effective in life. This is the key thing that has made simple people stand out, they were simply able to use their knowledge properly in time. It is this combination of knowledge and time that has been the missing piece in many a failed project. For we have heard people say, if I had known, I wouldn't have done this or that. I would haven't gone here or there. It is this way of thinking that can enable people to plan well, and the first step of good planning starts at the point when we make a clear decision that we are going to plan daily. Each day will be a well-calculated day. When this process is done daily, it permits us to build habits that can be transported into weeks, months, years, and a life well-planned. But it starts as a daily activity. It is this simple daily activity that has built a huge difference between the people who have made it and those who haven't made it. Life happens in the form of seconds, each second demands us to make a decision. Those are the choices of life we make. They happens daily, second by second. The people who have grown to see each that second as a lifetime are those people who have made it in life. God, Time and Choices. This is taken from the book, God, Time and Choices. Get the book on Amazon now. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.